In this video I'm going to show you how to test React hooks. My name is Maxim and I make programming tutorials to make it easier for you to learn JavaScript and React. So if it sounds relevant then subscribe to the channel, press like button and let's go. In this example we will take this component that renders counter. Here is how it looks in browser. We can increment counter and decrement it. We'll take the logic out of this counter, create custom hook and then write test for this hook. All the stateful logic of our component, where we set state and increment and decrement our counter, is located in the beginning of our component, so it will be easy to move it out to a separate file. Let's do it now. Create a new file called useCounter.js in your SRC folder. Uh, from this file we need to export new function called useCounter. All custom hooks are just functions that use other hooks. Now we can copy our increment decrement function count and set count state. Go to use counter and just paste it here. We need to import React. And we need to return state and functions controlling it from our use counter function or hook. Let's do it. Return. Return. And we return an object with count, increment, and decrement values. Names of our state and functions are quite fine, they're readable, so we can just return them inside of our object and we don't need to rename them. So we can use this simple syntax. Let's go back to our app. Now let's import use counter from use counter file. Now we can remove all this logic that we're going to use from our use counter hook and let's use the structuring assignment to get count, increment and decrement from react use no from use counter. Let's go back to the browser and test if it still works. It works. Now let's write tests for our hook. Begin by creating useCounterTest.js file. New file useCounterTest.js. This is how we will let know to just that this file contains tests. Now we need to import our useCounter. Import useCounter from useCounter. To test this component, I'm going to use React Hooks testing library. Let's import act to perform actions we're going to call increment and decrement functions inside of this act function and render hook. This is what we are going to use to render our hook from testing library React Hooks. Now let's define our first test case. First, I want to test increment function. So I write describe increment and I define a function. Inside of it I create a, an it clause. It increments count by one. And define another anonymous function inside of it. Now I use the structuring assignment to get result by calling render hook and passing our use counter there. This result is going to be our hook. We will be able to call its increment and decrement functions and check its count, its state. Here we've just arranged the initial state for our test. Let's go to the act phase. If you don't know what are phases, arranged act assert then subscribe to my channel because in one of my next videos I'm gonna talk about this as well. Next we perform act and this will be an actual act function call from react testing library. Inside of this act function we need to pass a callback where we will get current instance of our hook by calling result current and then we'll call increment. After we made our act we can perform assertion. Initial count for our use counter hook is zero. So after we made one incremention, we can expect it to be one. Let's test it. 
I expect. Result current count to be one. Let's run our tests. Yarn test. And they're passing. Now let's write decrement test. To do it, we can just copy our test case, paste it below, rename increment to decrement, and say that it decrements, decreases. Count by one. We still need to render hook to get result, but now we call decrement. And we expect it to be minus one. Let's run our tests again. And they're still passing. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, press like button. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next videos.